Amal Kumar, and here is an excellent example relating cost markup and selling price. We have three questions here, all are related. Let us see how to solve them. The first one is, an item costing $1.46 is being sold for $69. Find markup and the markup rate. Second question is, markup rate of an item is 40%. Find selling price if the cost price is $60. And the third one is, markup rate of an item is 75%. Find the cost price if the selling price is $210. As you can see, we have three different examples relating cost markup and selling price. We know two of them and we have to find the third. And these are probably the possible combinations which you might get in your test paper. So let us look into them one by one. Starting with the very first one, it says an item costing $46 is being sold for $69, find markup. Now the relation between cost markup and selling price is, if I say C is the cost, M is the markup, and S is the selling price, in that case, sum of cost and markup is equals to selling price, right? That is the relation. We'll actually make kind of a table uh, to give you a model to solve such questions. And this table is going to work for all kinds of questions, right? So, so we'll explain this table as we solve the question. And then it is going to become very simple for you to solve such questions. Now, let's see how to use it. We are given an item whose cost is $46. So $46 is the cost of the item. It's being sold for $69. We need to find the markup. That means this value, correct? So clearly, cost plus markup is 69. So markup is 69 minus 46, right? So we can calculate this. So we have 69 take away 46 and that gives us 23. So 23 comes here. So we get 23 as the markup, correct? Second part is to find the markup rate. How do you find markup rate? As you know, markup is based on cost price. So let me write here. Markup is based on cost price. So that is by default. Sometimes you can specify that cost price is so much, but markup is based on selling price. We'll take up those examples later. Since markup is based on cost price by default, percent increase in the cost price gives us the markup. So 23 is the markup of 46 cost price. So we can calculate 26 divided by 46 times 100 to find the percent of this ratio, correct? So it is 26 divided by 46 times 100 which gives us a value of 56.52%. So let's say 56.5%, okay? So that is how you can calculate the markup rate, right? So, so we can say markup rate is 56.5%. So we use this rule to indicate percent, right? So here what we get is 56.5%. So it is 56.5% of cost price. Is it okay? Now you will notice that knowing 56.5% markup, you can also calculate the sale price. We'll see how in the next example. So the next example here is markup rate of an item is 40%. So we are given the markup rate. This time, find selling price if the cost price is $60. So let's begin with our model. 
So we'll again sketch one, right? So we'll sketch one here. And uh, since we are given a person, we'll write it there. So what we have here is cost price, markup, and selling price. So we know markup percent this time, right? We know cost price plus markup is equals to selling price. What are we given? We are given markup rate of an item is 40%. We are given this 40%. Do you see that? So we are given the percent, this column. Find the selling price if the cost price is $1.60. And we are also given $60 as the cost price. And we need to find the selling price. Now that is the question for us. How are you going to do this one? Well, one way is we can find 40% of 60, right? Since markup is based on cost price. So this is like 100%, right? So we can find that. Let us calculate. So 40% of 60. So we are doing 40% of 60. That is as good as times 0 0.40 times 60, right? That gives you 40% of 60. So let us multiply 0.4 times 60 is 24. So that is 24, right? So we could write this 24 here. Adding 24 to 60 gives us the selling price, correct? So that is 4 and 6 and 2, 8. So we get $84 as the selling price when markup rate is 40%, right? That is how we can do it. Here is an alternate method. Now this is very critical method to adopt. Alternately, we see that the selling price based on cost price is 140%, right? Add these two. So we get 140%, right? So we could also find directly from the cost price. Let us see how. We could do 140% of 60, which is, you could write in decimals, one. 0.40 times 60 and get the answer, right? So it is 1.40 times 60 equals to 84. Do you see that? I mean, 84, right? So we get the same answer, 84, right? So we get selling price is equals to $1.84, correct? Now that will help you to solve the next question. The last question here is, Markup rate of an item is 75%. That means we are given this value. Find the cost price this time if the selling price is given to you, right? You can now pause the video, solve the question, and then look into my suggestions. This is indeed a thinking question. It is not that simple. So I'd like you to pause the video, copy the question, and answer. So slowly, let me move towards the solution. We know cost price plus markup is equals to selling price. And the last column here is regarding percent. And I'm just trying to fill in the values here and give you some time to solve. Okay, let's fill in some values. Markup rate of an item is 75%. So we know this is 75%. Okay, find the cost price. We don't know this. If the selling price is $210, so we have to find the cost price. How can we find the cost price? Now, one way to find the cost price is, can you tell me? Okay, let us go back and understand what we did. We know the markup is always based on the cost price. So cost price is always considered 100% of cost price, right? Now, last time we saw that the sale is addition of cost and mark price, markup. So if I add 175, we get 175%. Do you see that? We don't know what cost price is, right? But what we know is 175% of cost price is 210. Do you understand? So let me rewrite. 
so we know 175 percent of cost is 210 you get an idea so that is to say 175 divided by 100 of means times c is 210 now you can rearrange and find what cost is right so that is how you can solve such questions so let me complete the solution here c is equals to 210 times 100 over 175 is it okay so that is how we can find the answer so it is 210 times 100 divided by 175 that gives us 120 right so the cost price in our case is dollars 120 right so we can write here 120 dollars right so that is the answer dollar 120 right i hope you understand and appreciate what we have done in this example you can also find what is markup by finding difference between sale and the cost price i hope that really helps we can take few more examples to understand this process completely i'm anil kumar you can share and subscribe my videos to learn a lot thank you and all the best.